New questions about the source of a parasite that's got nearly 400 people in our country very sick. Stomach bugs reported in at least 16 states so far. Officials from two of those states have said they think the outbreak is linked to a prepackaged salad mix, but others say they're not really sure it's the salad to blame. Let's talk about it with Dr. Mark Siegel with the Fox News Medical 18. Doctor, good to see you. Good to see you, Shannon. All right, we all need to eat more salad, probably. That's a good thing. I don't uh, want to stop that today. No, we don't. <laughs> and, and you certainly don't want to assign any scare or blame. Uh, when we don't know the source, who actually is responsible for tracking this down? Is it the CDC? How does it work? Well, that's already part of the problem because it's kind of in the gap. The CDC is involved. Center for Disease Control and Prevention when people are already sick, people are starting to get sick. The FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, is involved when it's food. But the problem is before it becomes food, it's a vegetable, it's something growing in the ground. Then the USDA is involved. So there's a gap in food safety between the USDA and then the FDA. See, all these organizations are involved, but there's a big gap. And that's the problem in this case. Now, we're talking about something called cyclospora, which is a parasite. It's a protozoa, one cell organism that actually does it all itself. It doesn't band together like colonies of bacteria. But the problem here is, it, it, and the advantage is, it isn't communicable person to person. So if you had it on your hands, I wouldn't get it, Shannon, by shaking your okay. hand. It's got to be but ingested? It, no, it lives in the environment. Okay. It, in other words, so it's on fruit and vegetables or vegetables, and then it lives in the environment, and then a week later it becomes infectious. Then you can harbor it for a week before you get sick. Then it lodges in your small intestine. You get watery diarrhea. You get vomiting, nausea, uh, muscle aches, and you get pretty sick from this, dehydrated, especially in the summer. But the problem with trying to figure out where it came from. Well, a salad mix starts with many different vegetables, right? You have carrots, you have lettuce, you have tomatoes, and then there's issues with food handlers. So this could have actually started at a food handling, a plant where the salad is made. By the time they started tracking it, it was already off the shelves. Right. So they can't go back in time and piece it together. So it's very hard. So I don't want people out there to think this is the Centers for Disease Control fault. Because by the time they're involved, it's often hard to be a reverse detective on this. Especially if you say it would be in your system even for up to a week before you would know that you would get sick. That, that's exactly right. We have almost 400 cases already, yeah. but the good news is you're not going to get this by shaking somebody's hand. Yeah. So it's not going to become wildly infectious. It very rarely comes to the United States. The last time we had an outbreak like this of the cyclospora it was back in 2005. Now, if I'm checking stool in one of those states, someone comes to me sick, I can ask the laboratory to check for cyclospora. And that's a very good thing for doctors to be doing right now. All right. Well, we know a lot of folks have been hospitalized. Thank you for giving us a good overview. And hopefully the detective work will be successful in tracking the source. Hopefully, because it's, it can get you pretty sick. Yeah. All right, doctor. Good, good to, to see you. you. Thank you.